So for today, finally, we're going to be looking at the Warlock sets for the Taken King sets. And I'm really, really excited because you guys got a, a lot of cool sets in this one. Uh, Titans and Hunters, if you guys haven't seen your video, they're right here. Both of them, you guys can check them out. We have some really dope sets for those as well. Definitely check them out because I, I was cooking in those. But for this one, I especially was cooking because I think there's only one where I was like, ah, this one's fine. But the three other one are like legitimate fire that I will be using in sets. So... Uh, if you guys also want to see the review for the Taken King armor set and the shaders, they're both right here. We go over how it looks, how it shaders, my personal thoughts. And for the shader, I show you all the shaders that I currently have on, in the game right now, which is quite a lot. But yeah, I would appreciate if you guys check those videos out. Other than that, let's just get into it. So to start off for the exotic, we're going to be using Necrotic Grips with the Corrupting Echo Bond. This is a combo that I do usually with a Hive theme just because I think it looks really cool together. And for the helmet, we're going to be using the Taken King helmet for this one. And for the chest piece, Corrupting Echo Robes is what I'm going to be using. And then these Fetish boots is what I'm using because I love the organic, like, knee. The knee looks super organic, like something um, like a bug would have. So that's why I'm using it. I think this looks amazing. I legitimately love this look. I think it looks amazing. Shader, Lucid is what I'm using. And this one doesn't have the same problem. I guess it does, but it also doesn't because if you guys don't know, I made a look not a one to one because we're using different boots and different helmet, but we made a set for the seasonal ornament video, which you guys can check out right here for the warlocks. We made a video for that and I do like it. Let me just get that out of the way. I think it does look cool. I would probably switch the boots out for something else because i probably wouldn't actually because i do think it looks really cool i think i'd probably just switch out the chest piece for the corrupting echo robes um yeah actually i think we're the only pieces we're keeping is the exotic and corrupting echo bond because everything else is different actually um and the problem with it was just the fact that the helmet was way too white uh for the one that we used and the chest piece was like a green white and it wasn't a pure white, which is why it looked weird. But for this one, it actually looks really cool because the corrupting echo robes actually has like a white green to it. And then the helmet also has a white green to it. So it actually pairs really, really well. I mean, if you wanted to be super duper nitpicky, I guess you would probably just switch the Svetish bond or boots for like a hive theme piece. But my only gripe about that is we don't really have a good, like a good hive piece. I guess I could have put the Taken King boots in this one and it would have looked super cool because the Corrupting Echo Robes, I mean, it, it is the best Hive theme piece there, but I don't like to combine two pieces usually and I didn't want to do those two specifically just for this video. I wanted to do something else. But if you wanted, yeah, the Corrupting Echo Robes and the Corrupting Echo uh, boots, I think would have been really cool with this set. But this is the first one. I think it's starting off strong. Let me know what you guys think about this one. As for the next set, we're going to be using the Hateful Wish ornament from the skull of diaram kara and this one is the different one because i did use the hateful wish for another set for the seasonal ornament video but i do think this one looks a lot better and i'm combining some pieces that just look better overall so for the arms gloves of the taken king is what i'm using for the chest piece chasm chasm of yule is what we're using i think this looks super cool with the taken clean king gloves i think it looks super cool the Corrupting Echo Boots is what we're using for just the Taken King look. And then the Ancestral Bond with Chitin Slate because I didn't want to bond on this one because the chest piece is actually super symmetrical. And I wanted to keep that because the arms are also symmetrical. So a lot of things to say about this one. First and foremost, Dreaming's Cast is super cool with this set because it turns off the glow on the arms, which is super cool. But I also love how everything just kind of coincides with each other. And what I mean by that is... Uh, a lot of the plate armor is super cool with the helmet and the chest piece, but it also looks really cool with the boots as well because it gives that slight everything's connected. Everything looks like it's it's like with each other. And then the arms I, I love. I think they look so good with this set. Overall, I like I hate to say this, but I think this is my favorite look because it just looks really cool like my bit like my only gripe and this is such a small nitpick is like i wish dreaming cast had a different color for the plate armor not blue like maybe maybe something else i think that would have been better but at that point i'll probably just switch out the shader for something else if it really bugged me that much and it doesn't bug me that much 
the on well the the thing that bugs me the most i would should say is the fact that skull of dire hamkara is trash so like i would never use it with this exotic but i would use it for another exotic like another exotic that has a like a, a similar look to this for sure but let me know what you guys think i think this one is probably the best one as for the next set i lied this is actually the best set because it looks fucking crazy so this one a lot of things happening in this one a pile of following hood for this one the chess piece we're going to be using the taken king chess piece with the bond as well because i think these two look really really cool together and there's kind of a theme going here and then for the boots the seasonal ornament specifically the aphotic lemillar boots where we're using just because uh, i wanted some organic look to it that being said i hate that i hate the feet the boots just ruin it but i do think it's super super cool so let me let me talk about this one for the shader we're using crucible metallic because crucible metallic actually turns off the glow or at least it looks like it turns off the glow of the actual chest piece specifically the armor plates and i was immediately gr like just grabbed onto that because i wanted to have that and then i also love that the glow specifically for the cloth is such a good red that mimics the apilos following hood so well and then the bond i think looks really cool with the fire as well i just overall think this set looks amazing for the exotic where you're going to be using the grasp of the void ornament for the controverse holds i think this looks amazing i think this super cool gives off like a very evil vibe which i fuck with heavily which is why this this one might be my favorite actually so definitely it's either it's between the second one or the third one to be fair the first one don't look down on it it looks super fucking cool as well it's just i have such a hard time choosing which one is my favorite because the first one is like your epitome of like hive themed look the second one is like not epitome of hive themed look but it just everything pairs so well that it just kind of looks like it's from the same set and then this one just looks evil like this one looks like like i'm a disciple of the witness bro and i love it and then last but not least we have the weakest one for sure that being said i know some people are going to be like this is the best set which hey man more power to you i think this is the weakest one but if you like it i'm happy that you like it for the shader mercury vex chrome is what we're using because i was trying to go for the bone color because the chest piece does not change color for the bone which is the steeplechase vestment which is very annoying corrupting echo gloves for the glove for the you know the bone color there as well and then for the boots we're using the taken king boots and this is where it kind of i get sad because you guys will notice that there is a glow in there it's not that bad and i can ignore it but there is a glow in there if you are interested and then for the bond iron foreigner bond is a cool choice because doesn't look like a bone but it looks enough like a bone where i'm like it's fine i don't care so nothing too too much to talk so i don't have a lot to talk about this one because again it's the weakest one but i did decide to put it up because i do think it looks cool and there is some potential here for some dope shit so that's why i left it here but so let me know which one is your favorite in the comments below starting now we're going to be doing a little thing where if you guys got up to this point then we're going to be shouting out the last shader so for this one it's going to be mercury vex chrome let me know in the comments below if you got up to this comment mercury vex chrome or any variation of mercury vex or chrome i will know you guys got up to this point and i would appreciate it but other than that be safe i have more content coming out i love you i miss you i'll see you guys later